Ho, 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 and welcome to uh, the Beer Channel Holiday Edition. Um, tonight I have a, um, I have a German Christmas beer um, that uh, I think was released in 2010 uh, for the first time by the, the Mars Brewery. Um, it's a, um, on the label, it's, it's Mars uh, Christmas Bock, or uh, what the Germans would probably call uh, Weinox Bock. Um, it, this is a uh, this is a Christmas beer that uh, this is the first time that I've seen it. Uh, I think it was about four dollars um, for the bottle, uh, for the half liter bottle, and um, uh, it's actually uh, you know this time of year. Um, right now, um, as I'm recording this, we're we're, we're halfway between um, Christmas and New Year's, and of course, uh, for me, I've still got plenty of uh, Christmas and. Uh, winter beers to, to, to work my way through, and I will be uh, well into the early winter months, and some of them will stay in my beer fridge until July, when I usually do a, a Christmas in July uh, tasting on, on some of the beers, just to see how they've changed um, from from the uh, from the winter release. In any event, um, Christmas beers have become uh, the end thing here uh, in the U.S. Uh, Anchor uh, Brewing Company with our special ale, um, they probably released the first uh, American Christmas ale. Harpoon wasn't too far behind uh, in the uh, uh, in the Northeast with their Harpoon Winter Warmer. Um, well, I said well, that's relative, of course. Uh, they were one of the earlier holiday beers in the um, craft brewing movement, but the Winter Warmer was released in the 90s. In any event, um, the American uh, the American uh, trend towards uh, holiday beers. That's been going on for some time is not uh, without historical precedent in Europe. Certainly, the English have had Christmas ales uh, for uh, for centuries, and the Germans have uh, had their own Weihnachtsbier, um, specialty brews um, for the holidays as well. Uh, I really like um, the uh, the German idea of um, of a Christmas Bock or, or a Weihnachtsbock because when you think about it, you know Bock beers, um, multi uh, multi dark uh, Bock beers are uh, usually it's something that uh, would be perfect, uh, a little bit of extra alcohol and uh, a little body to it, so it's, it's, it's a great beer to, to restore you on a cold winter day or night. Um, I'm not sure what uh, this, this particular beer, uh, um, it does say uh, it's Christmas Bock. It's 6% alcohol by volume. Um, the brewery website says that it's um, darker and hoppier than their normal Bock. Um, 6% is not all that strong for a Bock beer, though. Certainly a uh, a double bock, uh, which uh, uh, is, is uh, probably uh, you know I think of as being one of the, the better winter brews, and, and, and a lot of them are released in Germany in, in uh, late January, early February. Um, those are the great beers for this time of year. Um, I think of uh, American uh, uh, Gordon Beer's Winter Bock uh, as a really dark, chewy. Uh, Bach beer that's that's perfect for this time of year. In any event, um, we'll see what uh, how this one fares. Um, give you a little bit closer view of the label there. And we'll go ahead and pop the top off and see what we get. there. So you can see it's sort of a, it's a bright um, chestnut to mahogany color. So uh, it is, uh, it's got some good caramel color there. So this is definitely a, a traditional Bach. Um, it's got a nice little slightly tan colored head formation on it. It's got a very nutty, uh, nutty soft malty nose. Almost a little spicy in the in the toasted nut flip aromas that, that are coming coming through here. That's really good. Um, it's got the uh, uh, toasty, nutty um, Munich malt flavors that I'm looking for in a Bock. Not so big and chewy. Um, uh, not quite so complex as, as like in a in a Doppel Bock. Um, but uh, th this makes it a little bit more drinkable than, than a double bock might be. C certainly, uh, I think I could uh, easily drink a couple of bottles of this one without too much uh, trouble um, at the holiday time. Uh, 
get a little bit of uh, grassy hops in the finish, a little bit more probably than um, than I would expect in a traditional Bach. Definitely herbal aroma to those hops, both in the in the aroma and in the uh, in, in the palate too. But I think they work well in the finish. They kind of uh, temper some of the sweetness from the malt that's going on. And the beer has a very, very fresh character to it. So it's like if you've ever home brewed um, and, and just chewed on a, a handful of fresh malt, um, that's a lot what I uh, get, a lot like what I get from this beer. So it, it's, uh, it's got that fresh, um, very toasty, nutty uh, malt character to it. Um, and fortunately, it's in it's in brown uh, glass, so the beer this this is in very very good condition. It's well protected. I'm definitely going to recommend this one uh, if you happen to see this even into January and February. I know you're past the probably past the uh, the Christmas uh, Christmas rush and you know, Christmas spirit might have gone and went, but uh, this beer uh, still is definitely worth picking up. Um, I, uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I hope you do too. And uh, if you do uh, try it, uh, let me know what you think. Drop me an email, brewguru at brewguru.com, and please uh, visit my website. Thank you. Prost. <laughs>